YouTube and also 350k on Instagram. Ah, my mind is still blown. So if you guys want to see how I created this look and also more giveaway details, please keep on watching. All right, guys, let's get started. So I just quickly done my base. I put on a bit of blusher and I got my eyebrows on. I have done a whole YouTube video on my foundation base and then also my eyebrows. So if you want to see that, check on my channel. So I've got a bit of blusher on at the moment. It has a little bit of like a golden sheen, but I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. My favorite part of doing my makeup. Yes, I love putting my highlighter on, guys. I love it so much. It's like I just can't wait until I pick up my highlighter. I'm like, mm, what one should I use today? But guys I just got a brand new delivery of highlighters just coming to post today so the package was from Artist Couture and it is this colour called Gold Digger this is a brand new shade you guys know how much I love Illuminati and Coco Bling so it kind of reminds me of Coco Bling Coco Bling is a bit more like silverish whereas this one is like a white gold the Coco Bling is like a white silver what I really like about the Artist Couture powders is that it has like a sifter so you can turn it for the holes to open and then when you don't want it to be open you can turn it so it's not like freaking explosion of powder you know I'm gonna use my Morphe R36 brush and it's just like a small little highlighting brush okay let's try it for the first time on camera oh shit it's gold hey I like it but I think I like Illuminati more I'm gonna put this all on top of my cheekbone on the tippy tip of my nose Cooper's bow and then a bit on my forehead as well. I like it, but I think it needs to be a bit lighter just in this area, you know, to make it pop even more. So I'm gonna grab Illuminati, my fave of all time. You know, so it just adds that extra brightness just in there. Okay, guys, so I've got this brand new palette in the post, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to do a look using this palette. And it's from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. If you guys don't know about Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, I only just found out about them recently. But they have like 1.2 million followers on Instagram, so they're quite big. But I only just found out about them recently. So I'm here to share with you guys if you guys don't know them. So this is what the new palette looks like. I freaking love their palettes. I've done looks with their palettes on my channel before, so check out my other tutorials. But this is called the Smoked out palette come on now this is freaking fire this palette look at it look at it in all its glory but this color is literally calling my name like this is gold this royal deep blue shade but i literally just done a tutorial using blue on my channel already so i feel like i can't use it but i'll do a swatch for you guys <gasps> ah! <gasps> i love it so much and i love these matte colors and this color i think i'm gonna do yes this is good Oh, is that one of those colours that have like a green and then it reflects to like a brown? So let's do a look using that shade. So I'm going to start off with my MAC 224 brush. This is like a big fluffy brush, my favourite transition colour crease brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. And I'm going to start by putting this into the crease first. I always generally start by putting on my crease colour because this will kind of help me blend any eyeshadow that I want onto my eyelid. When you start off the crease colour, it just kind of gives you a guideline into how high you can blend your eyeshadow. When you blend your eyeshadow on your eyelid, it kind of makes sure it kind of fades in together. Because sometimes when I go straight in with a dark colour on my lid, it's really hard to blend out. And then I'm also going to go with this one here. And it's a little bit lighter, so I'm going to fade this on top. I can't wait until one day I can make my own eyeshadow palette because that is just going to be goals. I've got so many colours that are like not existed that I haven't found that I'm like, I want to create myself, you know? One day, goals, goals, one day, goals. Okay, so I'm literally just mixing the two colours together. 
create the perfect transition shade and i'm also blending this into my nose contour as well to make it look super natural okay i'm gonna go with a smaller brush this is a morphe 513 brush it's a bit smaller and a bit more tapered compared to the mac one can you guys see it just goes right inside the crease and the bristles are not as dispersed so that means it's going to give more of a concentrated application and i'm going to go in with this reddish brownie shade and this is probably going to go all over the eyelid i'm literally just going back and forth round and round in circular motions right inside you guys can see my eye lid is like lifting up because i'm going right inside the socket if you don't really know where your socket is if you put your brush right inside your eye when your eyelid starts to lift that means that's your socket <laughs> When you start to get this this crazy bitch <laughs> coming up. And I literally just go windshield wiper motions going back and forth right inside that crease. And I start to build the depth. And I'm also picking up my MAC 224 and I'm going back round as well with the transition shade. Because you don't want it to be like perfect semicircle. You want it to be really blended. So that's why I make sure I go back and forth with two brushes. You want it to look like it's been sprayed on like an airbrush, you know? Like shh. Okay guys, so as you can see, I just done both eyes quickly. Just literally burn between the two eyeshadow shades and then this is what you get so on my lower lid you guys know i like to smoke out my bottom lash line i like to smoke that shit out <laughs> smoke it smoke i'm gonna go in with this pencil from mac it's called costa Rich pencil i used to love this pencil so freaking much before and I haven't used it for a while now and this is like an eye curl so it's one of those really smudgy pencils and make sure it's really nice and sharp as well because when this pencil is blunt it goes freaking everywhere so i'm just gonna put this on my bottom lash line i really like this because it's like a really warm chocolate brown i haven't found any eyeliner similar like this so you guys see i'm doing it so messy i'm not even caring about like how freaking clean cut it is i'm just whacking it on okay i'm just gonna use a small little pencil brush this is from backstage beauty and it's called precision pencil and this is like a synthetic brush so it'll blend out pencils really really well okay so now that that pencil is freaking blurred out a little bit i'm gonna make sure i blend that puppy out i'm using the same eyeshadow brush as i did inside this crease bit and i didn't add any extra eyeshadow i just use whatever's on this brush okay so i just added a bit more pencil in my bottom lash line to make it a bit darker it totally depends on how dark you want your bottom lash line but i like it really dark by the root so if you want it to be a bit more intense just keep layering up that's what i did so now on my eyelid i'm going to go in with the same pencil from mac again the costa Rich pencil and now i'm going to use this as an eyeshadow base i'm literally just using that pencil and i'm just going across my eyelid nothing freaking neat i'm literally just like shoving it on because it's a cold pencil so it'll blend out really nicely i'm just doing this so that the eyeshadow will glide on really nicely on the eye and now i'm gonna blend it out again i'm gonna use that pencil brush again because it's synthetic remember guys if you ever want to blend out a creamy product you need to make sure you use a synthetic brush because the bristles are a bit firmer so it'll push the product around a lot easier so it's mainly like the edges that i'm kind of blowing out you guys can see it's like starting to fade into my crease transition shade perfectly. I like this eyeshadow just the way it is. Mm. But, you know, this is a tweet tutorial, so we need to jazz it up a bit. If you think that this look is good the way it is, just go ahead, stop right here, maybe put a bit of mascara and eyelashes on and finish it off. But I'm going to go a bit one, two step extra, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Bedroom Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> bedroom eyes how sexy is that and i'm going in a flat shader brush this is a luxe smoky shader the 234 brush from zoeva just any like flat eyeshadow brush this shade is really nice because it has like a brown slash green reflex to it there's, there's quite a lot of brands that do eyeshadow colors like this but this one oh so pretty so i'm just gonna keep the color mainly in the center almost kind of like a spotlight eye so that it's not all over i like the spotlight eye because it will make your eyes look bigger and it looks a bit more intense as well oh my god this color is life guys so freaking pretty because it looks kind of like an emerald greeny kind of shade but against the warm brown i'm in love but i ain't gonna stop there guys it's a tweet tutorial and we are gonna put some glitter glitter so I've been dying to use this glitter from Lip Cosmetics when I first received it. And if you guys haven't watched my IMAX haul, I'll link it up here. Make sure you check it out because I'll show you Lip Cosmetics and my top glitters from them. So this shade is called Soul Sister and it's in number three. You guys see it's got like a hint of like green, brown. I think it'll be perfect for this look. Can you see? Yes, yes, yes. So when I turn the lid, sometimes it looks brown, sometimes it looks green. So I'm going to speckle this a bit on the centre to make this eyeshadow pop even more. I'm using my Dazzle Lock eyeshadow base. It's my favourite 
glitter adhesive of all time okay so i'm just going to pick up any kind of random fluffy brush this one i've used for glitter before is the morphe m575 and it's all freaking hard af from the last glitter adhesive that i used and i'm just going to sprinkle this on i really want this glitter to be really random i don't want it to be like a big block of glitter so i'm just doing random speckling because i don't want the glitter adhesive to go everywhere picking up the glitter and then just randomly dotting it around mm, that glitter just took this look to a whole nother level okay so on my eyes i'm going to do my top lash line this is the infallible by l'oreal it's just like a black eyeliner any eyeliner will do that's black i do actually really like this one because it's super affordable and it's really creamy and black okay so i'm literally just going on my top lash line back and forth like this so on my top lash line i'm going to do like a really smoky smoky little line now i'm going to smoke out this pencil with a little small pencil brush so when you do i like this it's just super easy you don't need no skill you just literally whack it on and then just smoke it out so it's a bit more intense just by your lash line okay so i'm just going to put on mascara and eyelashes and i'll be back okay guys so i just got on my lashes these are from Lara Lashes and they're in the style Heartbreaker and I really like them because they're a bit longer in the centre so they make your eyes look a bit bigger and they're like crisscross kind of kind of thing. Okay so just to finish everything off I'm going to go in with a lip so you can either do like a darker lip which is what I'm going to do or you can just do like a new glossy lip I think that would be pretty as well okay so I'm going to go in with a darker lip liner and this is from MAC it's called Cork Lip Liner it's like a darker brown shade. Okay just lining my lips and making my lips a little bit bigger a bit more defined. Okay on my lips I'm going to use this shade from Lip Land Cosmetics and it's called Empire. It's like a really warm chocolatey brown. This colour looks exactly like this transition shade in the crease. <laughs> I just felt like my lips needed to be a bit darker so I found this liquid lipstick. This is from Motives Cosmetics and it's called Rust and Roll and it's like a really nice warm chocolatey brown colour. I haven't worn like a dark brown lip in a long time but I used to be obsessed with this lip colour so I'm so glad I still found it in my collection. This is like buried at the back because I had so much new stuff come in. Okay guys so that's it from me. Please let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial by giving me a thumbs up and commenting down below if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe because i am doing a special giveaway for you guys yes i've got all of the details down below in the description box i'm also going to upload a photo here of all the makeup you can win so make sure you're following me on my youtube and click down below in the description box to see all of the rules for the giveaway it is open international for you guys because i have so many amazing followers from around the world i'm also doing a giveaway on all my other social media platforms so make sure you follow me on x tweedly on instagram snapchat twitter facebook yes i've got four of these little logos put up now yeah so guys that's it for me enjoy the bloopers i love you guys <laughs> brand new delivery <coughs> oh god a little phlegm just flew out of my mouth this is like this oh, oh i just took my nail inside the freaking palette no why now why oh my nipples are itchy <laughs> shade on top oh my god they just fell on out girl Get the fuck out of here. I literally look crazy, like a crazy raccoon right now. <laughs> why do I keep spitting today? Jesus, I keep spitting everywhere. One second, Yas Yasmin's calling me. I don't know why I keep saying, can you guys see? Can you guys see? Obviously, you guys have eyes. Why do I do this every single time? I need to know what I'm saying before I freaking start turning on the camera. Guys are going to kill me. Where is a black freaking eyeliner when you need one? <sighs> I've got a freaking black dot here. No. Oh my god, I love this glitter, guys. Glitter and me are like, we're like, you know, two peas in a pod. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs>